Good evening, my name is Ahmed Jassant, and I would like just to go through with you a session with the new Oracle SQL Developer 17.3, and I named the session DBA Functions Made Easy. So who I am, I am an Oracle DBA and an Oracle EBS DBA for over 15 years experience living here in South Africa. I've been fortunate to work in multiple sectors and currently employed at Edge Evolve Consulting. So my topic is Oracle SQL Developer 17.3 DBA functions made easy. As you can see, Oracle has released the SQL Developer version 17.3, and I would just like to go through with you the task as a DBA to make your lives extremely easier. The benefits is it's easy to use. It simplifies the DBA tasks. It has quick solutions for you, so you don't need tremendous uh, SQL statements that you need to store on your desktop. It's a visual application, so you can drill down and get the answers quickly and also explain to your management or your users where the problems are. It assists in skills development, so if you have junior DBAs or junior interns which you are training, it's an extremely excellent product and it's free from Oracle. So this Oracle statement on the website, Oracle SQL Developer is a free integrated development environment that simplifies the development and management of Oracle databases in both traditional and cloud deployments. Okay. So what you need to do is first download Oracle SQL Developer, click on the DBA tab and select your connection. You can choose your development or your different environments and click on OK. And once you click on OK, there's different DBA functions which come up automatically, which would make your life extremely easy. And I'm using it on a huge project now. As you can see, you have you can see your database configuration, you can see your database status, yeah. you can see your data pump jobs if you're doing any imports and exports, you can see your performance, uh, you can see your admin backups, you can see your resource manager. You can see your framework translator, you can see your scheduler, you can see your storage, uh, you can see your security, and you can see your tuning as well, which is extremely excellent, as you will see. So with your performance, which is extremely excellent, is now you can drill down into your ADR, ADR, AWR reports and your snapshots, and you can view your database in a visual way now. So instead of having an enterprise manager, this is an alternate. All right, so if I can just go through uh, a quick demo for you, is on your DBA, you download the tool, as you can see, help about version 17.3, which is the latest. Then you choose a collection, and I can choose my development environment. Okay, and there the development environment has come up, and there we go, there's all the different tabs. So if you go to configuration, which you can see now all your initialization parameters now, everything comes up onto the screen, so no need to go to the server. Uh, you can see your different features, your undo management, your database, current database properties, you can, and you can see the description as well. So if you're sitting with management, you can, see what is your value and you can explain to them as well. No need to go in and search all those parameters. You can see what features also you are using here on your database. So no need to run uh, long SQL statements to see which are currently used. As you can see, I'm using my tuning advisor, which is true. Uh, you can see all the ones that you are using and you are not using as well, which is excellent. Then you can go to your database status. And this is an extremely excellent one. You go to your instance viewer, and now you can see your database activity in a in a graphical view. It just takes a little bit of time to come, especially if your database is extremely busy. All 
All right, so there's it coming there. It shows you the number of clients, the response times. It shows you the dispatches, the shared services, and it's telling you what statements are running in there as well. And you can see whether your database is busy or not. If you go to memory and storage, it will take some time because it's pulling and it's showing you your memory DB block rate, logical reads, it will all come up. It shows you your SGA size, 8.3 gigs, your SGA max size, 12 gigs, buffer size, shared pool size. And it's extremely excellent. You can see there it's busy refreshing and all the data is coming through. So as the data comes through, it will start bringing, there we go. There's your storage coming through. Um, there's your temp file, it shows you 30% of your temp file has been used, your undo, your data, it's brilliant. Then you can see your data pumps, uh, if you have any data pumps in uh, import and export running, you can drill down there and you can see there, well, there's currently nothing there as well. What's excellent, what I love about it is you go into your performance, you go into your snapshots, it will and you can choose a snapshot time. And it gives you all the information there. You click on ADM findings, it will give you all the suggestions there. Then you can choose into that report there and your ADM report and the entire report is there, which you can read now. It's readable, you don't have to FTP from the server as well. Everything is in there as well. You can then drill down to an AWR report and you can choose your different timings you want from your AWR as well. If you configure Armin on it, you can configure your Armin settings on there. Uh, you can then configure your scheduler as well. And if you go security, you have your audit settings, profiles, roles, and you can drill down into your users all your different users appear there as well. You can go create a user, you can edit the user, drop a user, expire, unlock. So you can do all the, the utilities that you needed to do on Enterprise Manager can now be done on here as well. Uh, you can drill down on storage there, you can drill down in archive logs, control files, data files, redo logs, table spaces, you can go in there. You can see, I'm gonna run this in the background. Uh, and you can see all your different table, table spaces and the size as well. What I wanted to show you is when you go to tuning, Okay, and there I wanted to show you there now on your database, now you can see exactly what SQLs are running. Uh, you can see the duration is running and you can see what has failed or what has come through and you can drill down to the exact SQL. Now what's nice about it, remember I told you about the instance view, now it has populated all the data and has come back and look at it, it's a graphical view of your system. Uh, you can click on there and you can drill down on there. It will bring back all the data files there. I'm gonna allow this to run in the background. What happened there? And you can see the, all the data files that are there. You can see how big they are, how, many, how much they are filled and you can drill down and see all your data files. So I hope this session has been valuable to you and please send me your feedback on either my work email or my personal email. And there are more videos on my YouTube page. And my motto is taking challenges and issues and turning them into opportunities. Thank you and bye-bye.